Welcome to our YouTube channel na Solving Math with Lunalin at ito ay upload din natin sa ating FB page na Free Reviewers Managed by Lunalin. By the way, itong FB page na Free Reviewers Managed by Lunalin, makaka-upload na tayo ng mga videos ngayon. Uh, thanks kay FB kasi okay na akala ko after 3 months pa kasi yung una niyang uh, notice after 3 months pa. So okay na yung FB page natin na Free Reviewers Managed by Lunalin at pero yung nanghihingi ng mga libreng printable na reviewers para sa darating na August at yung iba pang mga exams like AFSAT sa Solving Math with Lunalin na FB page kayo mag-message doon habang kunti pa lang yung nandoon kasi doon tayo mag-focus ngayon. So now, ito ay random post kaso hindi lang isa ang nag-post, maraming nag-post at marami na ring nag-tag sa atin. So, ang tanong dito, ang mismong given ay Four days before tomorrow is Saturday. What is three days after yesterday? Para mas madali natin itong maintindihan, para mas klaro sa inyo, at uh, para ma, mas okay siya ba? Kasi kaysa naman uh, direkta tayo dito sa four days before Saturday yung mag-count count, ang gagawin natin ay mag-backward tayo. So, unang-una, dahan-dahanin natin. Meron akong piniprepare na, uh, ano tawag dito, yung table. Doon muna tayo sa tomorrow is Saturday. So, kung si tomorrow ay Saturday, okay, si tomorrow, bali yung now natin or yung today ay Friday. Ngayon, mamaya na yung 4 days na yan. Doon muna tayo sa 1 day before tomorrow. Alam nyo ba, ang ibig sabihin ng 1 day bago yung bukas, 1 day before tomorrow, ang ibig sabihin yan, equal lang yan sa a day before tomorrow, which is the same as today. So, kapag sinabing a day or one day before tomorrow is Saturday. So, yung now natin dito ay Saturday. So, ito yung one day before, one day before tomorrow. So, ngayon, sunod-sunod na yan. Two days before tomorrow is Saturday. So, yan mismo yung Saturday. Three days before tomorrow is Saturday. So, yan mismo yung Saturday. Four days before tomorrow. Yan mismo yung Saturday. So, ngayon, focus tayo sa given. Four days before tomorrow is Saturday. So, ito yung four days before tomorrow Itong tomorrow na nandito ay Saturday. Four days before tomorrow, yun yung Saturday. So, next is Saturday. This is Sunday. This is uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and this is Thursday. So, therefore, yung now natin ay Tuesday. Yung tomorrow natin dito talaga ay Wednesday. Pero yung four days before tomorrow, yun yung Saturday. Yung tanong, what is three days after yesterday? So, kung ito yung now natin, ito naman si yesterday. So, si Monday, yan yung yesterday natin. Three days after... Take note, this is after. So, going right tayo. After. Now, doon muna tayo sa one day after yesterday. Ito yung one day after yesterday. That is Tuesday, which is today. Two days after yesterday. So, yan yung Wednesday, which is tomorrow. Now, three days after yesterday, three days after yesterday, ang nandito ay 
Thursday. So, ang sagot dito ay Thursday. Now, alam ko, iba-iba yung mga sagot dito. May Tuesday, may Sunday. Pero kung sakali sa tingin nyo, mali ako, comment na lang. Pero ang mabisa sa pagsagot nito kasi, mag-backward tayo. So, umpisahan nyo sa, para mas lalong nating maintindihan ba, yung, ito ba, yung tomorrow is Saturday. So, ito yon tomorrow is Saturday. So, kapag sinabing a day or one day before tomorrow is Saturday, so yung today nasa Saturday. Then, two days before tomorrow, three days before tomorrow, Saturday daw. Four days before tomorrow ay Saturday daw. So, i-fill in na natin yung next, next Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So, itong Tuesday na to, na bilong yan dito sa now. Yan yung Tuesday. Yan yung given ngayon. Therefore, para masagutan itong tanong, what is three days after yesterday? So, magsimula tayo sa yesterday, which is Monday. One day after yesterday, yan yung today. Two days after yesterday, yan yung Wednesday. Three days after yesterday, yan yung Thursday. Kaya ang sagot dito ay Thursday. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Now, kung sakaling sa palagay nyo pa rin ay mali ako, walang problema, paki-comment na lang at paki-explain. Pero mas maganda ang pag-explain nyo ay i-backward nyo para magkaintindihan tayo. Thank you and God bless.